Hi, welcome back to the Causeways Test. And this is Matt. It's Hank Aaron Sunday. Um, we got one card we wanted to show today. We mentioned it was a big one, literally and figuratively for us. Um, oh, it's so nice. This is, uh, it's kind of, like it's obviously early in Hank's career. Uh, not a high grade example, but just happy to have the card. Um, it's kind of modeled after the Hassan, kind of the Mecca folders that came out in the early 1900s. Um, yeah, it's perforated. So, if you guys are into these, you probably already know what card I'm talking about. What's that? Look at the corners. I know. They're soft. They're definitely soft corners, but that's okay. So, Ty, you want to show them the card? It's the 1955 Tops. Double headers. 105 slash 106 Aaron Herbert. Yep. Herbert's on the back, Aaron's on the front, and it shows both their stats on the back. Let's go. Hank Aaron gets most of the cards. Yeah. So it's an SGC two, um, but just happy to have the, an it example has that of tuxedo. this. Yeah, the tux. It's like upside down. Yeah, I know they didn't do it perfect back then. And then the stats are flipped. You got to kind of. Oh this. my god. Yeah, a lot of a lot of work for this one, Ty. Let me see. There's the stats on the back. Looks like they gave you the year and the life. Let's see. And then a little paragraph about them. Yep. pretty cool card um so happy to pick this one up and add it to the collection got it off ebay um you know the guy wasn't offering taking offers but i shot him an email anyway um unsolicited i guess and he took another five percent off what he was asking and that's more about going into auction and trying to get it to win it there there are some the biggest reason they got it too there's a crease kind of right along the bottom by his Kind of by his ankle. Well, it's not because of... But honestly, like, from a far away, you can't... I mean, it looks fine, obviously, a little off-centered. It's off not because of the perforations? No, that's how they were made. Yeah. So perforations pretty pretty uh, easy to see on this one. Yeah, because somebody probably bent them before they could do it. And that's before they put, they put them in a pack, they had to bend it. I think they came, maybe flipped when you got them packs. I don't know. And you haven't done enough research on that piece, right? But uh, but it, it's, a, it's a nice... It presents nice enough for us. So happy to pick this up again, the 55 Tops Double Headers. Goes with the theme of all the oversized ones. Looks like it's the same size as the, uh, yep. It'll go nicely with the Home Run Derby, the same size slab. Um, so happy to pick that up. Looks like I just won an auction, got a notification. <laughs> it's always fun. Wait, you know, hand me that card that we showed, the 55. Okay. Oh, Ty has a spot ready for it. <laughs> Careful, I meant to stand up for that. And then we, while he's doing that, we got a care package this week. Uh, not a random act of kindness, but one of our fr good friends in the community, Joe, over at Four Soft Corners. If you're watching that's our why, channel. That's why I pointed you out. Yeah. No, I, I knew you were. Ty was kind of uh, te giving a tease there without really telling everyone. So this is Mailman Snorlax is here. Yes. We didn't have any new pickups yesterday. We were showing off just some of the 55 Bowman cards we already bought back at the uh, January card show as part of that partial set we picked up from uh, Louisville Cards and Comics through um you got it yes I, I picked up at the dallas card show thanks to thanks to tyrus's mom kind of pushed me to buy that so i saw the packaging briefly so this is funny because uh <laughs> joe and i were chatting back and forth on text i think and i i, I mentioned that uh I, you know i don't i'm not the healthiest eater by any means that's probably obvious if you guys have met me in person or seen me on camera by this point but uh that's actually trash pile still growing um so he sent me this. I, I mentioned that my fruit intake, my idea of fruit intake is the Welch's fruit snack. So he used a uh, <laughs> Welch's Wait, there's box. There's a note on the back. Oh, there's a note. Let's read the note real quick. Okay. You, can you read it or I'm going to read it? Yeah, yeah, you didn't write it in cursive. <laughs> good. Ty's, <laughs> Ty's good with the print. Matt and Tyrus, it is difficult to find new Hank Aaron cards you don't already have. I found some of these magazines and ads at my LC. LCS, local card shop. Yeah. Uh, and thought it could add to the co to the collection. Thanks, your friend Joe for soft corners. So yeah, so Joe's Joe's awesome. He uh, he's doing a really cool series right now, kind of bindering up his '76 top set. Uh, he's gone through almost all the '60s card. Did I see '69 yet. I'm trying to remember if I saw '69 tops or not. Maybe the last one he needs to do. Maybe he did. I missed it. But uh, he just has a great. Mm -hmm spirit about the way he collects he's just trying to get all the cards 
And I'm kind of getting there on Hank Aaron. You saw that was a two. Just trying to get the cards at this point. I, like I, I even want the ones I won tonight uh, in auction was a two and a three. I'm just trying to, some of these cards, like in order to get them all like in sixes and sevens, is going to cost way too much. And um, even though I've got a lot of the, you know, a lot of the cheaper cards out of the way. So what's left that I need in the master set is uh, they're kind of getting pricey. So having to be a little more uh, open-minded to the grading, being a little bit less. So Joe's been a good influence on that for me. So thank you, Joe. But definitely check out his channel, Four Soft Corners. Ty's got some cool things. He just looks like he... So this is like a magazine? Is it Baseball Digest? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah I think get so. The, get the glare off of there. Yeah, baseball Digest. Oh, that'll be interesting to look at. This is from 19... Oh, you're going to read it? 71, but he ranks the NL's pitchers. I'm, I'm sure uh, Gibson was, was going to be top, you know, near the top of the list, I have to imagine, right? So... Oh, wait, you can see the I'll have to I'm actually going to try to open that without ruining it, but look at that. It. It's from July 1971. That's awesome. This will be great. We'll put some of these up here with Ty's comic books. We'll, we'll definitely put get some display stands for these. Yes. Display in Illinois. Nice. That's actually where we're staying. That's where I was That's where we're, born. Uh, no, we're staying Downers Grove. Okay, it's close though to where we're gonna be uh, for the national. So this is like a Hank Aaron ad thing. Paper. What is it on the back? Oh, it's just like an advertisement from a magazine, maybe. Yeah, but then you could kind of, they he put it in there, but he, there's like more stuff on the back. Oh, was he? Did he? Uh, yeah. Put a piece of paper so keep it from getting bent. Yeah. Yeah. That was oh, smart. Wait, there's probably multiple. No, no, I think it's just the one, but he put, they put something behind it, almost like the backs and comic book boards. So, yeah, this is really cool. Yeah, for, you can kind of see it. There's like a white, like a white outline. I'd outline. love to have, now that I know this exists, now that you look on the, for this, it says you can send this, you can send into this company called the Equitable Life Insurance Company and you get an 18 by 24 inch reproduction of this photograph. So this photograph here, sorry. Really cool follow through on the swing. But if you send in a postcard with your name, address, and the words Hank Aaron, they would have sent you one. There was no mention of even having to send money. So that was a really cool Wait, offer. Would you still get this back and the thing? Yeah, you don't. You just have to send a postcard. You don't have to even like send this with it. You could keep this. They're probably just trying to advertise their business because I'm sure they put the equitable like they are here. This is the company's name. They want to have that, and they know. So how old is this? Uh, this one's 51 years old, Ty, so I don't think they're going to so, still make that offer. So the Daredevil and Black Widow... It's from 73. So how old is that one? Make 72. So this one's 71, this is 72. And then how, how old is that one? The Black Widow? 73. 73. That's really awesome. Yeah, we're trying to get some more of the oddball stuff. You know, we showed the glove off that we picked up. Um, Where's the glove again? Should be we behind have... me. Oh, yeah, I see it. It's yeah, right it's there. behind me. Uh, we have the bottle cap. We have the bottle cap, which I'm probably about to lose. I think I got stuff on top of it. Yep, I did. Got the bottle cap, so we're... This. <laughs> yeah, we're getting all kinds of random things here. We no, that's awesome. Those two Thank shiny. you, Joe, again, for this. I still have some Chase Ellie cards to get your your wife. Oh, my gosh, I'm the worst in the mail. I think... Dad, Dad, all we have to do is spend a weekend up here just organizing everything. Okay, I'm getting the business. I'm getting the business. You see this? Hi, Ty. Good to see you, Carl. Hi. All right. Thanks for the Welch's Roots thing. Yeah, I like that touch. That was awesome, Joe. And it kept it protected, too, so it worked out awesome. But yeah, he mentioned to me today that it was ended up being really good packaging. Uh, he didn't mention it was like an inside joke at that point in time. So we'll keep the note, obviously. Um, right back where it was. Yeah, we'll keep that. Don't Make sure you don't throw away the box, and if you put it on there. Boom. Boom. So anyway, thank you, Joe. Thanks. We're going to – we got a few other Hank Aaron cards, but we'll wait to show some of those next week. we got to – Obviously, some auction wins from tonight that I'm looking forward to showing off as well. Dad, we never fixed that up there. What is that? But there's like a Luca Don so you can. Ah, oh, that's okay. We gotta change to that. Plus, I get, it's nice to show off some other cards. We got uh, John 3D80s kid back there. We got a really cool this Dimaggio and Mantle we got from Scott over at Duke's Cards and Curiosities. So yeah, this one and then it's good to change one. things out. The one where we just yeah, you just like that. You like the one we just got, don't you? Yeah, it looks cool. That's cool. They have a jacket. So a couple of quick things on that. The set, if you get all the cards and face them in a circle, it looks like a. It looks like they're all facing each other. They actually all kind of connect. But how many cards? No, there's a lot. See, that was one hundred five and one six. So there's at least fifty three, right? But there's more. I don't think that's the last card. I don't know though. I'm so it's a lot of cards. No, oh gosh, I should have told Ty. Well, there's a Jackie Robinson there that I wouldn't mind having. We can we should try to get that for sure. Is there like more Hall of Famers? Oh yeah, there's gonna be more. Yeah. 
I definitely want to complete that shit. Mm, good. That might, is that your, I thought you were going Kobe. Well. You can do both? Yeah. That's good for it? Yes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Bank of Dad, see? You should be nicer to me then. What do you mean? You just told me to spend time here. Get this stuff done. You give me the business. I guess I'm still not fired? No. Okay. Mailman Snorlax approves. So, anyway, we rambled on long enough. It's 10 minutes in. Sorry to keep you so long. Thanks for watching, everyone. I got to get better at comments this week. Oh, my gosh. I can't do any worse. I did, did spend, caught up on a few videos, and now I feel like I've made two new ones this weekend, and we're going to be behind again. So, we will get caught up. We need to drop some comments on other people's channels. Um, but, yeah, hope everyone had a great weekend. We know we, we did. Um, I'm not excited for this weekend. You got four weeks left. You got this. This week and next week. Mm. Mm, you'll be fine. We got single to my own Friday. For those that celebrate, we're going to have a little pool party. Hope it warms up by Friday. So, anyway, y'all have fun. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. See ya. See ya. Thanks, Joe.